All right, guys, uh, today I have a new application for you that I'm going to show you. And it is, if I can find it here for you, right here. It's called Themer. And Themer is actually a launcher. Um, and this is some of the features of it. And so we're going to kind of go through this. Um, so what you do in Themer is you pick a theme here. So there are a bunch in here. You can go to browse themes and look through newest staff picks or most popular. So we'll just go to a most popular and um, you can pick the theme you like. You just scroll through them and find one you want to try and go ahead and click on it. So just for example, let me show you this Mario theme. You're going to pick on this. You're going to say apply theme. You can see that it downloaded and is now applying the theme. It does take a second to apply. And just give it a minute here. Okay, so you can see that the uh, time on here has applied time and date and your buttons along the bottom and here's your app drawer again. So it is functioning. Themer is a full launcher, but it's like this, it's more like a theming device. It's kind of interesting. So you can see here that it actually scrolls and your bottom navigation down here has the camera and other things and the shortcuts are all basically how you design them so you have internet messaging um, email all that kind of stuff and more as you keep scrolling and here's a, a weather widget which is really cool looking um, and then games news details uh, got some cool stuff in here with a pipe so uh, themes pretty cool I definitely like this one myself so from here, if you want to go and check out the other themes or get back into your settings, you just hit your menu button on your phone, and it's going to bring you back to this screen where you can do some different things. So one of the things I'm going to show you can do here is you can set home screen, or which is set your launcher. So I'm just going to pick this one for permanently right now, and now it's set as your default, and it'll always load up right here. And then we can go back in here, and I'll show you the rest of the settings. So you also have my themes, which is basically place themes that you have favorited. So this is one that I have favorited, and you can click on it and obviously apply it. It won't have to download; it'll just apply. Um, but you will have a little bit of a loading thing going here. So there we go. Should be uh, loading up. There it is. And you can see you hit a couple things, and now you've got other buttons around the outside of the circle, and calls, messaging, emails. You click on any of those areas, and they will show up with whatever app you, like I said, you have set to those. So let me go ahead and show you how to set your default apps. So we're going to go to menu, and then we're going to go into settings. And I think you want to go into themer. Let's see if it's in here. So. <clears throat> You can see some different stuff in here, weather, apps, a uh, whole bunch of uh, settings in here that you guys can go through and use. Uh, let's go to advanced. Somewhere in here, I know there's a way to do it. Mm, maybe it's in here. Desktop. And you have all these different buttons in here of locking icons, transition wallpapers, um, navigation bar and so on and so forth of features that uh, you guys can use um, folders docs you can see that right there folders different things you can do there icons there's not any in here right now so there's nothing there docs you can show or show divider some features there uh, let's go to system and this is just gets you into your standard settings in your phone however they look anyway um, but let me see somewhere in here I know there's a way to do it I just gotta find it all oh, right here app preferences there I knew it was in there so right here is where you pick what your preferences are because the icons don't look like this when you apply a theme so if you have a, a an icon of email you, your preference is open up your gmail account if you want to use yahoo you would come in here and click on here Let's see here. And you take it out and you pick a different preference. Um, internet. 
and you, you click it off too. So then what happens is when you when you reset them, when you click on it the first time, it'll ask you what your preference is for that application when you click on it. So I just got rid of mail, right? So let's go back to the home screen. And right here we're going to go email. And you can see it comes up with a preference. I'm going to pick Gmail. And now that preference is set. Um, there you go. That's pretty much how it functions. There's not a ton of uh, applications in here, or I should say themes in here yet. Um, but uh, I'm sure more are to come. And I think you can actually go to Themer online and maybe even sign up to be a designer and actually design these themes if I'm not mistaken. I would have to look into that to know for sure. But uh, there you go here. I'm going to pick one more really quick. Apply it and show you guys just how easy this is. So there you go. That is applied now. And it uh, looks uh, pretty cool. Uh, I, I dig it. It's got some neat, neat uh, settings in there for sure. Obviously app drawer and so on. Um, there you go. That's pretty much it, guys. That is Themer and how it functions. I guess the last thing I'll, I'll leave you with is uh, we're just going to go into the Play Store and uh, just show you guys Themer. There it is. And there you go. Now, this is Themer Beta, um, and it does require a access code and you can read up more about that here on this link in the play store there you go guys that is my little review of themer beta on this is my s4 technically but really doesn't matter should install on any device that's on i think a jelly bean and up so there you go hope you guys like this uh, as always check me out at rootjunkie.com facebook or twitter and we'll catch you guys next time